There he is, Graham. The only big croc at Australia Zoo to ever get the better of me. It was a routine capture. And then, whack! Grab me by the hand, pull me in the water to kill me. Luckily, I landed on his head and I got away with my life. Graham's never forgiven me for getting away with just a wounded hand. Way back in 1992, I made a huge mistake. A case of the jaws quicker than the eye. Graham was in an ambush position, flew out, grabbed my hand, tried to pull me back into the water, perhaps to kill me. Now, I got away with it. I was really lucky. A little bit of skill. But now, it's time for Graham's revenge. Graham is powerful and fast, deadly fast. He's tasted my blood, he's had his teeth in my flesh, and at every opportunity, he tries to go it again. He's grown enormously since his first bite, and by crikey, he commands respect. In here somewhere, there's a beautiful crocodile called Graham. Over in the corner there is his girl, Finn. I can see some bubbles coming up. Bubbles coming around here. Here he comes, here he comes. Great. Graham. Come on, Graham. Graham is an Australian saltwater crocodile, and there's nothing he loves more than demonstrating how salties can launch vertically straight up out of the water and pluck a duck mid-flight. They're that good at getting their food. Wait, hear those jaws coming together? 3,000 pounds per square inch, and he uses his tail to pole vault straight out of the dirty water and hit with deadly accuracy. You see now that he's starting to get a belly full of food, he's starting to slow down, a little bit more controllable, and he's starting to look, look at the food rather than looking at me. Wait, wait, good boy. Hard to imagine that I caught Graham by hand when he was only a little fella. He has grown really fast. One of the fastest growers and one of the fastest strikers. My mate, Graham. Alrighty, I'd say if there was ever a time that we're gonna need precision and accuracy, now's the time. Take no risk at all. I wanna rehearse this and rehearse it until we're all completely clear. All right, so Terry and Kelsey, you're gonna take Bindi, right? Get her out of our hair. Fred, you're the strong man, the anchor man on those ropes. Uh, those other guys that are in behind you, you take the lead, you call it, do whatever you got to do. Wes, back up one, Brino, back up two. It's all about teamwork though, eh? If we make a mistake with this guy, he's going to split us open so badly it's, it's not funny. It'll probably be myself and you guys are going to be in the firing line. All right, so once we get him, what I want to do is I want to take him straight from his enclosure, up over the two fences, down onto the green tarps. From the green tarps, we load him into the four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, back out onto the main road. I want people, um, Kelsey, you'll be in charge of that. I want gates swung open, ready to go. We go straight through, off the, past the shed, um, through the other crocodiles, kangaroo area, and when we get round to the other gate. When we get to the other gate, I want that poised, ready to go, swing it open. As soon as we get there, then we'll slide him off on the green tarp, straight out onto that high bank, the one we've prepared, that green grassy bank, up on there, pull him out, ropes off, people on, ropes off, let him go. While Graham's out in the sun, on land, we can see him and it's less dangerous for us to go in and set up some safety precautions to protect the crocs. Just hold your ground for a second. Okay. Now that he's in the water, he's in a position where he could ambush. So things get a little more dicey. It's all about moving quickly. Wait, 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 wait. There's his girl. Precisely. And having good backup. People staring straight at him. Okay. 
it's still up behind the stumps, Steve. Yeah? Frame you over the pliers and some of those wires. I gotta tie rubber mats on the fence before we catch him so as he doesn't hurt his mouth and get it caught up in the fence on capture. Graham's rules are pretty simple. Come into my territory and you've got to be prepared to fight me. You probably go twice my body weight and about ooh, eight to ten times my power and enough teeth in there to chop me in half. Behind you. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, here we go. You go. You gonna go? Here we go? That strike was all about dominance. He doesn't want me in his territory. He doesn't understand what the green mats are. So he's sitting there, mouth open, poised, ready to kill if I get too close. He's showing me his weapons. He doesn't like his green stuff in his territory. So he's just uh, showing himself, exposing his teeth. This is a demonstration of power and get out of my territory. It's very good. Steady tear, he's gonna go, yeah. He's testing the mat. He doesn't like it, it's new in his territory, and he's just seeing if he can kill it. Well, he's looking at you now. Watch the move. I'm gonna see if I can get him swung back into the water. Gotta go, you're right, you're right. Crocodiles hate anything new in their territory, so they test it. So to get this job done, we've gotta try and keep him in the water. Whoa. He's angry. Isn't he quick? How's this? That's great though, he's tested it. He bit it, it's inanimate, he's happy with it. This is great, couldn't have gone any better. Time for me to get out, I think. Okay, so let's assume these tr this tree line is Graham's water. He's out sunning himself now, as soon as I jump in, show him a white bucket, he's gonna go into a food response, goes into the water. G'day and welcome to Australia Zoo, the whole nine yards. I'll jump in. He'll go into the water, I'll get him into the water. He'll go into the water, he'll go into position. Come on, Graham, come on, Graham. It'll be probably a good 10, maybe 15 minutes. He'll do his snout thing, trying to locate me. We'll wait, we'll wait, and then I'll lure him out. Come on, Graham. Out you come. Come on, come on, come on. Right, I'm gonna lose this top jaw rope, Stewie. You're gonna have to go round further. Go round, more, more. Okay, he's going into a death roll. That's it. I'm going off. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. Where'd you get on the head? I'm gonna need those the small green tarp. Right, small green tarp around his head. That'll be the only blindfold. We'll have it back up there. I'm gonna take these top jaw ropes off. You happy? Okay, back it off. Back it off. Here we go, boys. You right, Wes? I'm right. Right. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, now, we're going out. Onto the fence. Tail over. Yeah. We'll keep the head in, Wes. Tail's over. We'll okay, we're coming over too. Okay, onto the tarp. Okay, just everyone keep your weight on him. Okay, wrap the tarp. Relax, let's get the troopy in. Troopy comes in, we load him up. He hasn't hit that 12 foot big bloke mark yet. He's close, really close. Any other croc, I reckon, yeah, they're a bit slower or a bit smaller, not as much impact. This bloke, he's deadly dangerous. Capturing Graham is gonna be all about precision and the accuracy of our rehearsals. It's a normal feeding session. We're hoping to fool Graham and Bindi long enough to get them roped before they get into a defensive position and hide in the muddy water. And the white food bucket that I'm carrying, it's gonna catch their attention from the word go. They're gonna think that it's just a normal, just a routine feeding session. And notice how everyone's cruising around pretty lackadaisical, just like we were going to do a feeding demo like any other day. That's the secret. Come on, big boy. Look at them, laying out in the sun. They're not even phased. They think it's just a standard day. Here he comes. He's just thinking, yeah, yeah, food time. I'll just come over and strike at Steve and get some food. Here he comes, straight 
into an ambush position. I've got two top jaw ropes ready to go. OK, we got bubbles in front. Just like the rehearsal. So far, so good. He came in, food response, saw the bucket. He knows there's food. Pretty soon, 